The term Inquisition, or Holy Inquisition, refers to a series of institutions and judicial procedures associated with the Catholic Church or clergy in the service of secular governments. These institutions emerged in Europe during the Middle Ages and the early modern period. Their purpose was the detection, persecution, and condemnation of heresy through interrogations, torture, and other methods of obtaining evidence. The term inquisition is derived from the Latin word inquisitio, which refers to the act of inquiring or examining something thoroughly. The proceedings were overseen by inquisitors, ecclesiastical agents empowered to judge the faith of individuals and to perform judicial and investigative roles. In cases where death penalties were imposed, the execution of the punishment fell under the jurisdiction of civil authorities. Origin of the Inquisition the Inquisition emerged as a judicial procedure of the Catholic Church in 1184 when Pope Lucius III issued the Bull Ad Abilendum, instructing bishops to investigate and persecute individuals suspected of heresy, that is, contrary to ecclesiastical doctrine, in their diocese. During this period, the Inquisition primarily targeted Cathars and other heretics such as the Waldensians. However, it operated intermittently and was not organized by a central institution but by bishops. For this reason, it is often referred to as Episcopal Inquisition. In 1231, Pope Gregory IX issued the Bull Excommunicamus, establishing the creation of ecclesiastical tribunals and the appointment of the first inquisitors directly subject to papal authority, mainly Dominicans and Franciscans. This group of institutions is commonly known as Papal or Pontifical Inquisition. Over time, the Papal Inquisition expanded its persecution to other heretics in cases of alleged witchcraft in various parts of Europe, such as France, Italy, and Germany. The dissemination of inquisitorial manuals, such as the Practica de la Inquisition, by Bernardo Gouet, 1261-1331, allowed for the standardization of procedures. The Inquisition in the Middle Ages The tribunals of the Pontifical Inquisition in the Middle Ages were led by an inquisitor acting as the Pope's representative. Proceedings for heresy could commence without a formal accusation, meaning a mere suspicion was enough to initiate them. The inquisitor provided the suspect with the opportunity to confess guilt under oath and to testify against others, thus expanding the list of individuals to investigate and interrogate. These trials were typically secretive, and the suspect lacked legal representation, although a written record was maintained by a notary. Starting from the papal bull ad extra panda, 1252, issued by Pope Innocent IV, the Inquisitor was authorized to employ torture to obtain confessions, often assisted by lay assistants. Suspects usually remained imprisoned during the process. The Inquisitor also interrogated witnesses and consulted with legal experts. Sentences for those found guilty of heresy were pronounced in a public homily. Those expressing repentance could receive religious penances, bear the stigma of yellow crosses on their clothing, or be incarcerated. Those who refused to recant were sentenced to die at the stake and handed over to secular authorities for execution. The condemned's assets were confiscated and used to cover the costs of the trial and execution. Tortures and Executions of the Inquisition Torture and public humiliation were practices employed by the Inquisition. Torture, in particular, served two functions, to extract a confession during the trial or to serve as an exemplary punishment before an execution took place. Some of the most well-known torture methods were the rack, the pulley, and the water torture introduced during the years of the Spanish Inquisition. When an execution was decreed, reserved for cases deemed most severe, the accused was handed over to the secular arm and often subjected to burning at the stake in a public space. Many times, the accused was executed in effigy, meaning a substitute image or doll was used because they had been tried in absentia or did not survive the trial. <laughs>